what you're doing now. Making some flour. Some dumpling. Dumpling. <laughs> 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 Just for our non-Caribbean viewers, you know, who might not know what you're doing. So how do you know when you've got enough water? Just feed to the fixture. Bind them together. Right, that's when you know, like, um, this water, right? Just keep um, mixing around until you get the right grips. Make sure everything start binding together. That's what I want. <laughs> Not about the strength, um, it's a technique of mixing the, um, the dough, right? You know, you put it um, so it's not binding together. Right? Yeah, okay. I can see it coming together now. Yeah, well, that's it. You don't really need no um, really muscle or anything to do with this. Just enough to move it around in there. Yeah. Just give me a So what's this bit you're doing? Some light rice and peas. Okay. Well, I got you, your kidney beans and... So would you normally use kidney beans in rice and peas from no, Jamaica? Well, Jamaica, you can use gungu peas. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 some long beans. Right, I mean, there's quite a few different kind of beans that you could use. Yeah. But the preferred one, right, you know. This is kidney bees, you know, because they bring a bit of flavor out in the rice and peas. Yeah. That you're making. You know what I mean? So. Okay. Well, yeah, so we have a selfish soaking boiling. Ooh. So, still a bit rank. So, we're going to put this. Still got to wash it off a bit, boil it off a bit. See, okay, you you're draining all the water out there. Yeah, 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 you can smell the yeah, um, Strong salt in it, you can tell there's quite a bit of salt still left in it. So, you wouldn't get to soak this overnight, so cook it from scratch. And then, really you got to boil it out fairly before you can use it. But now, let's see, you don't mind eating a lot of salt. So, you're gonna boil that again, or are you gonna just Drain yeah. it out with the water, yeah. Yeah, put, put it back on to it. Right. Okay, you can see right um still a lot of salt in there. Yeah, 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 you can tell you know, um the salt salt yeah. salt um, bubbling in. Right, so you can tell it's quite a bit of salt left in. So we just drop it back on there. Right. Give a bit more attention to this. This guy needs his own channel. <laughs> <laughs> You're very yeah. good at it. Yeah. So, yeah, where well, we started over here anyway. Yeah. Your dumplings. So, this is going to be for your dumplings. That's the cooking, are they? That's good. But I thought you'd already made it up. Yeah. What are you yeah. doing now? Well, I'm just adding a bit of flour to it so you can get the right taste. I mean, so look when you start rolling it, stuff like this. Yeah. You don't want it too wet, you don't want it too dry, you know. I mean, if it's not too moist, right, you know, you're just going to get in lumps. Mm -hmm. Right, so therefore, right, yeah. Just add a little bit it's of It's a million dollar trick you just showed people there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, I mean, the practice, you know, I mean, it's just a lot of practice. Well, these um, is a dumpling that, um, I'm producing is the original way that we make dumpling. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, a little technique, um, drop a little hole, say. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because we're not using deep, um, I know it's a bit, um, using the knife like that, but still, I 
I'm going to put more like, weight carrying yeah. between the lips. So. I've never seen that done before. Have you? No, 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 not pricking it first, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, um, most people do it anyway, but especially um, if you're using deep fry, you know, like you're frying chips or anything like that, you get them in a deep pan net. So yeah. it's a lot of oil in it, right? Um, if you don't have the holes in it, where you're just going to um, end up with a flat flat shape that you do it. Right. Right. I mean, it's, um, and the way, um, I'll show you the deep fry way anyway. I mean, this is this original way I'm doing it. It's not a pressure thing, you know, so dig your way out through it. This is all so you, you know, so it's getting enough air to get inside of it. I mean, when the heat starts coming up from the pan. Yeah. Well, this is um, a good um, deep, fr deep fry style. Yeah. Deep fry or shallow fry? Deep fry. We're doing shallow fry, no, right? That's the original yeah. way, right? This is um, the way you, you do. Um, yeah, that's how I do it. So deep, like deep frying it. So yeah. A lot of people do it like that. But really. well, you say that to um, dig it. I've never if, ever seen that. If, well, if I put that in there, all right, um, it's like half of this will fry in that bit of oil. Right, so you got to keep, even though you got to keep flattening it up, right? I mean, to get the, um, the level of the oil. Like not using half up on the aisle or anything like yeah. that. Just, just enough to um, get both sides of the dumpling cooked in. So. Very interesting. So, what are you looking for there?
Well, well I, I can say that, that. I, know, I know you're very famous in Bradford for your cooking, and I know that you're used to cooking for big crowds as well. Most of that, yeah, I mean, um, but I've done, um, like, a, a, wed, a wedding thing mm -hmm. with a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, and, but, yeah and, um, you do a lot of community events, don't right, you? Yeah, yeah like, I used to when I was yeah. working with the bus and street. Yeah. yeah. And, um, they usually um, work with um, other people. Yeah. Around, around the education. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so can yeah. I ask you? Yeah. Yeah. How do you think your cooking differs mm. from, say, most cooking? And well, what that was like, because we've adapted a lot of yeah. what we do to yeah. do it when we're here in the UK. Yeah, yeah, well, um, well, the mood said to me anyway, right, you know, I mean, um, I should go up, learn chef. You know, I mean, you know, so, so that, you know, that's it. Yeah, so we, 
we had a, a, a early um, group thing, right? I mean that we could more associate with um, with at least ten rest of people around us, sister and you know. We, so that was a good vibe, so I mean mm -hmm. for some progress through that. Did you yeah. use to cook around that time? Well, we have, we have any gatherings, did you? Did well, anybody cook? Well, no, not many, many when we have um, like a, a dance song or something like that, yeah, and then we, we, we put some food together. But, uh, but then, right, I mean, there was quite a few people that was capable of dealing with the food. I mean, so it was it wasn't just down to um, me, because uh, my head was just tied to the sound system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the days when we're not playing out, you know what I mean? The 17, what, 17 years? That would be a, we would just be an item. You know what I mean? We would just hook the item. Yeah. That you were, you were, well, yeah. The official one then. Yeah, we had then. But that, then we would live at the U.S. Square. Right, and all the young rascals that used to come around with us. You know what I mean? Um, we would meet them up with. Sometimes we have, um, Serious reasoning. reasonings, you know, you know, with the whosoever come there, you know, fuck with the rest of it. Yeah, and now the day we just have a nice day, have a nice smoke, and just play music and see them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that was you know, the, the head part of it in me because nobody want to come around and just sit down and, you know, like say, well, he's the end of the world. No, no, anytime they come around where we are. With all of us come together. We, yeah. It's how we end up in some heavy scam game. You know, right. Always. 50 cent. <laughs> no problem there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that's one of the parts that uh, I personally um, missed out um, between um, so about 92 to about 98. You know what I mean? Because I didn't go on dances or nothing like that in time. You know, yeah. I, just, I just leave the scene, you know? Yeah. yeah but when I came up, you know, I mean, um, Back in 1999, I mean, I came back because uh, um, I met some other people from that group. I mean, uh, we wanted to set up a sound system. So, yeah, they said, Mikey was here, yeah, one. Yeah, because they wanted Mikey was the DJ, right? Because Mikey was running the park for mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so Mikey was saying, no, no, go, go get the DJ tonight. So, from there, right, they come on, get me involved. So from then we start to have inspirational sound. That would dub defender. Yeah, so we've, we've been inspirational sound well, since that's 1990. That's really good education, because of course I don't know this, I'm only like 22. Yeah. So um, all this happened way before my time. Yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about 2000, what, 1999. Oh, 99? Yeah, we still go in that way. We still go in that way. We haven't got it. Much of a dance. Yeah, we have not had much of a dance in the last three years actually. Right. And everything's a bit quiet now. You know, right, right. The last time that we played up as inspiration ride was um last summer. We yeah. played we play up um Leeds. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the Fenton pub. I mean that that that's the last time we played out to the crew. Okay. I mean, but, um, so do you think COVID smashed a lot of things up? Oh, well, this is not to do with COVID. All oh, right. This is um, just the main selector kit. I mean, double kit. Yeah. I mean, in, in getting to the um, relation thing, all right, that is doing more than just him and his wife, you know, I mean, now he's got two kids now. Oh, right, so it's about so, time. We're not having the time. Yeah, yeah. so, um, yeah, uh, with him having kids and now, right, you know, I mean, they, um, they still got run around and do his work, you know, because one of them work this week. Today is in Bradford, tomorrow is in Wales, so yeah, I mean, okay. it's a counting time. So it's a timing thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you like food, you should spend your time to try to make it. Yeah. Yeah, because um, it's really important that um, I mean, everybody have a basic diet where they can really, really enjoy, you know? Yeah, like a lot of people think that we shouldn't be having like fried dumplings, for example. Yeah, so how do you manage to stay so slim, you know, eating yeah. food like this? Well, let me tell you right, with, with the dancer in it. Yeah, so, true. Yeah, I do a lot of walking, you know, I mean, um, 
I don't bother with buses or, or, or taxis or anything like so that. So if you want to go somewhere, you just walk there? If it's in Bradford, yeah, it's yeah. not a problem. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't mean walking leads or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but all around Bradford. Yeah, yeah, anyway in Bradford, I mean, it don't matter what time, I mean, I'll, I'll just walk. But we feel the mood, I'll say, look, I'm going here, I'm going out to Bradford, and poof, I'm gone. Right, you know, sometimes I get there and do what I'm going to do, right, and get back in the yard and just chill and enjoy myself, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So they've got a lovely colour now, haven't they? Yeah. So they, they are almost cool. Well, they start eating meat them now. They start eating them. That's if I see a, a little bit um, of an oil rise, man. Yeah. Well, and what's cool. happening in this pan? It looks like uh, most of the salt is almost boiled up. I mean, yeah. Yeah, just about that. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And this is your rice pan? Yeah. Yeah, that's the saltish here. Yeah. I mean, it's the, you can, yeah, you can smell, you can smell it, right? You can smell most of the salt is gone. Right. Up. What's left inside of it now, like, it's just, just enough to, um, make it know that you're eating saltish. Yeah. I mean, if you boil it anymore, right, then... It wouldn't even taste like saltish. No, you got to end up adding... Salt. Salt bag. <laughs> yeah. Which is not really, um... That defeats the object, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 because uh, what's the point you have in saltish, right? Uh, then you boil it out, right? Then you boil the salt, add salt back to it, you know, which a lot of people do, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's quite easy to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To, um, take too much out of what we're doing. Yeah. Right, you know what I mean? Okay. If, I mean, like, this is you don't, don't eat meat or anything like that, you know, so it's quite easy. Like, you, you still get to a vegetarian. Yeah. Well, yeah. know, which is just normally um just adding salt is spice with onions, uh tomatoes. No, no, you can get no tomato here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get no tomato? No. Yeah. You yeah. forgot your tomatoes? <laughs> tomato in there with tomato soup. <laughs> but you don't know, you know, not really um you can still make it taste nice without the tomato. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or would you have yeah. us do you, would you want us to go and get some tomato? Do you know what I really love about this sort of cooking? To cook, you know, apart from the akin, because we all know akin's expensive, yeah. but just to make, you know, like basic dumplings, yeah. even if you just didn't have any rice, but you just had your dumplings and you had your kidney beans, yeah. you could make a great meal just out of that with some onions and, and spices. Yeah, definitely. So what are you doing now? Just checking the rice to see if it's good. So that's good. Cool. Which it should be. Yep. So can I ask you tonight? Right. In Jamaica, yeah. would they ever use tin peas? Or is that something yeah, that we've adapted I think, here? I think it catch on. It must have catch on over the years. And I mean, it was um, the time it takes um, for you to um, soak the peas. Yeah, and boil it from the scratch. Right, you know, I mean, that's quite a few hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you don't, you, you can't do that in an hour or something like that, you know what I mean? You can at least, um, two, 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 uh, 15, 20 minutes, right? 
as you're eating the cooking the peas when it's fresh. Mm. It is cooking the wrong time. Yeah, so, so this, this is a... If you have fresh cooker, yeah. you will, will not eat this right there. Okay. So you're going to try it, you see? Yeah? Much, much, I mean, because um, we just use white rice. Right. The original um, used brown rice. Yeah. I mean, which you don't you get squashed in the head. And uh, when you use brown rice, you know, it's, um, it's better for your um, cooking rice and peas. Right. They get a stronger flavor as well. Yeah. Because um, white rice, I mean, you get mash, just like mashed potato, and then you cook it yeah. too long. Yeah, I If you not put, if you if you put too much water in, it'll be too hard to gauge. I mean, um, people just cook and cook, and when it's time to cook, they pour out water. <laughs> 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 I I can't do that. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't see the sense in that. So it was from top, from top, top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people make big round balls when mm. they're making dumplings, mm. but yours are quite flat and saucery shaped. Yeah, yeah, well, this, this like I was saying, right, um, that's how we learn to make dumplings. Right. Uh, as the original. This is the original right. way. I mean, um, because when, when we usually cook dumplings anyway, yeah, well, like I said, right, um, we keep the low heat. Yeah. We keep, I mean, right, low, low um, portion of oil. So the oil don't get there and halfway after yes. so we dumpling, so it, it's not sleeping inside there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like just the heat from the bottom of the pan, right? Just touching the dumplings and that gives you the, the penetration that it needs to um, bring the dumplings up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then it's another thing that people use as well, you know, in um, that you see this, right? I, I didn't put any... um. Raisin powder. Oh, like um, baking powder. Or baking powder, or anything like yeah. that. You know I mean, but most people. Some use, people use, use that, that, yeah. A lot of people like the taste and say that's the way um, original dumplings should No, taste. it's not, because we didn't yeah. even use to have ba uh, baking powder. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, to me, um, raisin, if you're using raisin powder, right, if you're just using normal plain flour, yeah. Right, to, to get the be a you know, lift in it. Yeah, you might use it with that. Yeah, but, but if you're already using self-raising flour, right, you know what I mean, what's the point, you know what I mean? You don't need to. You don't need to, right, you know what I mean? Um, plus, you know what I mean, if you, if you really want to take it um, to a, a different level, right, you know what I mean? Um, it's, too, it's too much way to um, explain where you can make the same dumpling, right? Oh, yeah, that's too much. Because, that's... Um, some people make it like that and they add um they can put chicken curries and all so in inside the dumpling. Oh see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, see you can put all you know, like you're making sawfish. Like you know, a like, split a split bake yeah, or whatever. It, yeah, but yeah. the dumplings are always like a, a giant <laughs> yeah. mango. Right, you know what I mean? So right. it won't be um, a normal size dumpling like this, right? Yeah, and yeah. It would be a giant dumpling and when you could have the sub um could be a curry or saltfish or whatever you put you, you decide to put in it. Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't make those kind of dumplings. I mean, I, I've never even tried it. I mean, I just love it. <laughs> it's a friend of mine that goes around in town, you're right, selling his food, West Indian food, and mix British food in it. So, and that's what he does. He does that. That's his main um, thing, right? You know, I mean, dumpling with um, curry, um, chicken, or curry. Meat inside of it or sawfish. Yeah, well, you don't know what sawfish. Well, we this is like yeah. some of the advances I think in in our cooking. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I've never seen that in Jamaica. Nah, yeah, because we, we don't use um deep deep pan fry it anyway. Mm. Right, you know what I mean? Um, because we 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 don't need to do that if, if you're in Jamaica, right? You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so we don't need to go. You know what I mean? Um. This the same size pan that we're using. 
I mean, you find it's um, quite economic uh, the right to um, make your food um, proper, right? You know what I mean? But if you had have um, more um, aluminium stuff, right? I mean, proper dutchy and all, and yeah. 15%, 20% more um, heat control. Right, and the other plants. Yeah, 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 because um, it's not easily burning your food that you put in, into it. So you got the amount of water, a little, whatever in it, right? Yeah. That Dutch pot just keep cooking that food, right? But what you're going to do as soon as that Dutch pot really get hot, you got to duck to the heat, right? Adapt to the heat quite quickly. Right. To keep that maintain the heat, right? Without um, the same heat keep blazing around it. Because that Dutch pot, right, you just keep getting hot and hot and hot when okay. the heat is on. Yeah. Right, so if you don't turn the heat down, right, I mean, and let the pot um, take that level heat and keep the heat, you mean, it's what we're doing there now, right? That's a normal level heat, you know what I mean? Maybe getting a little bit low, right? You can tell when your um, if it's too low, right, your oil starts sucking up, when your food starts sucking up more oil. Because it's too low. Right, yeah. and if, you, if you, it's um, too high, right, you mean, that's what I'm saying, right? You, you start getting the, um, the original crispy. Outside, start coming up straight away, right? You know what I mean? And it take a long time to um, get get the outside, the inside, right? Cook, cook. You know I mean, after you start um, getting the steam outside, and, and it start getting hard on the outside, right? So it's hard for inside to start getting cooked, yeah. right? And you got your idea and put your the roughness on it, right. right? Which is too hard in a way for the even oil to um, start when it circulate. Okay. Yeah, so. so what are you doing down tonight? Well, I'm starting making up the seasoning to go with the um, the apple and color look. Yeah. Yeah, because same thing I'm going to do with the salt fish as well. Because that's, that's the main way that, I mean, I'm probably like I'm, I'm going to put the salt fish in my purse. That's, um, Strange way of opening a can, right? <laughs> well, you learn this. Eh? <laughs> and that's why I'm going to do it. And you know, I've got proper um, can openers. Yeah. You, you see, that's it. another very, you I think, it. It Caribbean it. way of opening a can. <laughs> it is uh, interesting. Yeah. Well, it's not only Caribbean. You find most um, people that um, go in the woods or right. you know, in our. Just a survival so thing. Yeah, it's a survival thing. That's why they always have them a little knife with them. Yeah. It's got everything on it and the same little knife. And I mean that is a part of um, what he can use to feed himself in, you know what I mean? But this is just something that we learn as I mean you don't have to be a Jamaican style, right? I mean is yeah. any way you don't have um a can opener. Yes. You can you can do this. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> yeah, you do, um, make sure your fingers are apart. <laughs> your thumb is bracing away and it's in. So if it slips, slips out, you're not going to catch yourself. Um, see, I um, like this now. It's a great bit of um, um, uh, zippy zab stuff on it, right? Yeah. I mean, so that, that kind of helps you with that. You know what I mean? If you're using that, my knife now, right? Yeah, we just get a bit clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because that's pretty sharp in fact. Yeah. So like doing this now, yeah, it's like you use that opener itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, you see if you use that opener the same 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 way you're gonna open. Yeah. You know, so. Well, Kalalo. Yes man. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, see so drain it. Drain away the juice that you don't need yet. So you're draining all the juice? Yeah. Lovely. Right, people even leave it and you know, make it proper drain out. And, uh, it, 
it's not going to affect you up in, up in yeah, the I'm not going to pay you. Yeah, I mean, the juice. Because some people are smoking it and, and just spray it straight into, um, into your cook. We found the juice. Yeah, so you wash it? I can't do it. Yeah. Huh? You just put it in now? It's you wash it. Oh, you I know. Yeah, they are, they leave the full leash uh, when you get Yeah, but the fresh one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's, uh, it's already right. prepared, cured and everything. Yeah. Right, yeah, you can wash that now. <laughs> and not drain it effectively. If you, eh? I'm saying if you wash that now, it wouldn't drain out effectively. No, it just no, taste really. the water. If you try to wash this now, everything goes down the drain. It just. Mm. It, you know, it's, it's not much you can do with the washing this now because everything is already um, prepared. I mean, so you put in that straight into the pan that you had. So you jump in again. So you're combining them now? Mm hmm. Yeah, just mixing it around, you know, so, so everything can get a bit touch up. Yeah. You can't even put a lot of oil in. Yeah. Yeah, well, you see, I didn't put no tomato in that night again, so um, I don't think I'm going to put no tomato in that. Just leave the tomato to go in the saltfish. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to add the, um, the ackee the same way. Yeah. I mean, so the ackee's going in there too. So is that your little spice cupboard? What are you putting in there? Just what Thero? Yeah, some paprika, so a bit of curry. Right. Yeah, curry, curry. So, um, all purpose, you know, I haven't put no salt in, 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 yeah. in the pot itself. So, you know, um, that will add a bit of. Yeah. Curry, curry. So, I'm going to use one of the veggie um Bring a bit of gravy up on it. I mean, you know, right now we just make sure everything here is kind of blending together. Yeah. It's a bit dry, I mean, you like, um, I haven't used a lot of oil in it, so usually if you're doing it um, in, in Jamaica, right, you have a, a few bit of oil in Because they like the oil is here. Um, the cooking, uh, it, it, yeah, well, it, it goes with the food, you know what I mean? But uh, <coughs> mainly, mainly when you're cooking, like, um, yam, yam, you know what I mean? Hard food, like uh, yam, bananas, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Right, you, you need a bit more um, gravy. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, to soak up the hard food. Yeah, if you just use, um... There's a lot of nubs on that cooker, don't I? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm struggling to find the right ones. <laughs> <laughs> so this, what are you doing now? What's this then? Veggie cube. Oh, okay. So it's a, uh, call it a bit moist. Yeah. It's this this one where you can you can scrum it up. See, you gotta chop it up um, a bit more so you get right. loose. So when you're using it right down. Um, some hot water to that, you know what I mean, so... To get a paste going? Yeah, 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 yeah so... You a know. little... So you're putting your spring onion in as well? Yeah, I'm just leaving that one down, take a bit of the Right. Okay. So you're going to add the Add some water. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you cook every day, Dad? More or less. <laughs> yeah, so, more can less. I ask a, 
a personal question. Do you live on your own or? Yes, I do. So, and you still cook for yourself? Yeah. And you want to eat good food all the time? Do yeah, you... well, you know I mean? Um, the food that I buy, right, because uh, like I said, I don't like storing up um, food in the fridge, you know, the freezer, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So most of the food that I buy, right, you know, I, mean, uh, I buy it to use um, within a couple of days. Right. You know I mean, I don't like um, storing, you know I mean, yeah. food in, in, in the freezer. So food. you'll go out and shop and cook and go oh, out? Yeah, yeah, just nearly... Um, Every shop that I, I, I buy, you know, is just like food for the last couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, because I, I haven't got any way to um, really um, store it up. Okay. Yeah, like so you've added that uh, veggie cube and yeah. mix to the... Yeah, just to bring a bit of gravy into okay. it. Okay. So, you know, if you can, you can do this now with the... Um, with the dumplings yeah well even with the rice and peas uh, even though you haven't put any selfish or anything into that mm. just a bit of flavor but you know what I mean you know, you know, okay. so that, that itself can work as a dish you know what I mean, you know what I mean? We, no, I'm just gonna um, do similar but with the selfish you know what I mean so um, that, that could cover the um the wider range of what you are supposed to do as as a dish. Yeah. So we're opening that up a bit right then I mean, this fire is getting over there. <laughs> so okay. we'll stop That's like a that. challenge. Yeah, but um the, the, the good flavour from a sawfish dish, if you don't have the black pepper in it, you are missing out. You know I mean like um a lot of food right like, um, you know, you know, have um, certain things in it, like, I mean, like, um, like what I've just done there, right? That's just kind of under the balance for, um, if you make it clear, like this. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and this, this is a good um, base, yeah, make it for fingers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, selfish, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Fish motion. So imagine you saw fish now. Yep. So this is where the the moon and the star kind of come together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, because um, you know, I mean, this this is the dish now. Right? I mean, um, okay, you got the um, the go with the dish. Yeah, because if you don't have this now, right, as a dish, right, um, the rest of it, um, you're just gonna be just a normal normal little dish without any meat or yeah. fish or anything yet, really. mm -hmm. So um, until you put the dish in, right, which is this what I call the dish. You know, in um, when you cook the meat or the um fish or anything like that to go with wherever you're cooking it with. So for um a bit a bit more in the making it into a okay you got your dumplings there, eh? right? So yeah. I don't I don't wanna give anybody too much more than what they if you get the mic quickly. Because usually, right, when we have a little dish, you fill the little dish and you stick it, and then the rice is. Do you want me to get you a little dish? <laughs> Would you like to yeah, do it like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep, rice and peas time. Mm. We're going to put in a, in, a, in a little fashion, you know, a little stylish in it. So when you do something like that, you um, when you get the plate, you do this. Oh, so that's how it's done. Wow. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, right, um, this rice as well, you know what I mean? It's, it's not really a loose rice, you know what I mean? This is um, it's kind of boiling rice, boiling together, like, you know what I mean? It's, 
nice. I mean, the flavor, right? Um, a lot of people um, like this. It's one version of the um, basmati rice, and it's um, it always got a good flavor to right. it. Right, I mean, so the basmati. Mm -hmm. it's, it's right nice. I mean, um, especially when you got some coconut, but a coconut milk or whatever. For the selfish. Yeah. spoon at home as well I, go I forget to actually I should bring one so I should just so what have you got there then damn it so if it's spiced up yeah making it um a full flavor like it's not um too fatty kind of food right you know what I mean it's the kind of food that you digest really quite quickly right I mean, I don't, I don't know if you, yeah, but what, when you mix all the saltfish and the rice and peas together, right, um, I put a bit of lettuce. Lettuce? Yeah. And a okay. Bit, and a bit of cucumber, right, then you, you'll find the, um, a different flavor of um, bringing it, like, um, right. different from the normal, just straightforward saltfish thing, right, you know what I mean? get some kind of more tasty bite <laughs> yeah yeah okay i'm cut a little Looks lovely. Mm Flower, get power. <laughs> you know, we want two or one. What are you gonna push in? One, two, <laughs> two. You <laughs> guys, <laughs> well, you got no two. Two is fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Lovely, beautiful. So we're going to do that one too. We have, but not on the camera. Oh. I love how you've done your eyes. Presentation like a chef. Yeah. That's the lovely. So this is the one with the salt fish and everything and the right, full dinner. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So did you say that's the vegan dish, Donuts? I think this is fake, right? This will be uh, definitely a vegan dish. Right? This is um Dish with no meat um, at the reduction, well, at the right uh, that's involved in this. I mean, it's so all the uh, oil, the spice, I mean, that come into this to make what this is. You know, I mean, apart from adding the um, kalu and the saltfish to it, right? Is there's no other uh, so there's no saltfish uh, in that one, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no saltfish in this, just the uh, aki and kalu. Right, I mean, I'll just make the flavor to go with it. Right, you know what I mean? So, oh, is that one shining? Thank you. 